Hey, LeBron, how do you view the fourth quarter in the context of just the last couple of weeks and, you know, play well in one game, play poorly the next, uh, and, and where you guys have been wanting to go to versus just kind of executing in this specific game? I don't think we played poorly tonight. Um, I think in the fourth quarter, uh, a guy got hot and exploited our game plan, which can happen. You know, uh, you can play great defense and a guy gets hot and he and cares and he just uh, took that fourth quarter over. LeBron, uh, how do you feel like the way you guys as players have been prepared by the coaching staff has affected this recent stretch of, of play? Coaching staff has been great. Uh, they put, a, put us in position to, uh, you know, to succeed, and it's up to us to go out and, and handle the business. So, um, you know, there's always things that we all can do better, but there's no blame. LeBron, how have you seen Frank operate the last couple games, maybe in the last week, is there's obviously been more reports that, you know, he he could be his job could be in jeopardy. Listen, I'm not in a I'm not in a bit I'm not in that business of, of uh, pointing fingers or, or pointing blame or trying to uh, put a quote at the end or at the start of somebody's uh, uh, someone's commentator of what they feel, you know, our coaching staff or, or Frank is or where Russ is or where I'm at or AD. Um, if it's not positive for me, I, I'm I'm cool. It's not it's not my it's not my lane. I'm not a, I'm not a negative person. LeBron. So, so if you got something, you know, if you guess the iron spells. Which y'all probably don't I, see like y'all like shit. <laughs> With like the, no, like as the game, as the game was ending tonight, it, it looked like you were um, having words with somebody either on the baseline or the bench. I was just wondering if you could have words with who is that someone? I don't know because of the angle I was at. It looked like maybe you were talking to somebody on the baseline, like maybe you were yelling at somebody on the baseline, or it could have been toward the bench. Also, I was just wondering if, if you could shine a light on what that exchange might have been. I don't remember. Been. I don't know, um, and, I, and I usually remember everything, and so you have to literally let me know exactly what was going on, but. A lot of conversation throughout a 40-minute game, a 48-minute game, throughout the two and a half hours that you're on the floor. If you don't count, you know, locker room, halftime, you know, warm-ups, things of that kind of, uh, of that nature. So um, I don't know exactly what was said or, or who I was even talking to at that point. At this stage of the season, being one game below 500, is there a level of frustration setting in, or is it something you guys know that can be worked out? Yeah, I mean, no. I, I mean, I, I hate losing. So, yeah, of course there's a level of frustration for sure. Um, I feel like, you know, we have a good enough team to win ball games and be over 500. I mean, we're not a – I mean, we are who we are. So, I mean, I mean, I can't even, like, sit here and say that, you know, we, we should be this or we should be that. Our record is who we are. And, uh, you know, we are a sub-500 team um, as it stands today. And, um, you know, we got to play better. And um, we've got a heck of a road trip coming up, and we will be tested with a lot of great teams. So, um, let's see what we made up. Do you have a follow-up? Yeah, real quick. Question? Yeah, LeBron, uh, you know, cl a close game. Russ ended it on the bench. I was curious if you had had a reaction to, to that. I don't think we've seen that in a close game this year. And, um how was Russ after the game? Is that the sort of thing that bothers him? Um, <laughs> have you followed Russ throughout his career? <laughs> Not as close as you have, probably. Okay. Have you followed Russ throughout this season? Yeah. yeah. Uh, would you think that would bother Russ not being in the late game? I would imagine. Okay. Great okay. answer. Can you quote me on that? I mean... Yeah, you should quote yourself. <laughs> yeah. You guys want to quote us all the time, quote yourself. <laughs> all right, thank you. I'm going to the movies with my wife, man. I got to go. No. Ron said you didn't feel like you guys played poorly overall. Levert got hot in the fourth quarter. But just wondered what you saw defensively and what you guys were trying to do and, and what Indy was doing to execute against that. Well, I mean, we was, we was sticking to, our, to, to what our schemes was. Uh, Levert is, 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 a, is a player, is a guy who... 
know how to play in those those small spots. He, he gets to his spots. Uh, and, and if you don't stop him before he gets to that spot, I mean, that's, that's anybody who works on, on, on that type of game. He works on that. He works on those spots. Uh, he, he's very efficient at times from those from those mid-range spots. And, uh, he, 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 he turned it up. He turned it up in the fourth. Melo, when the season began, throughout the season, you talked about ups and downs. <laughs> the road. Could you have ever imagined it would be this way and on top of that, with all the scrutiny coming with Coach Vogel and his job status and you guys being below 500 again? Yeah, I, don't, I mean, as, as far as the 500 goes, I mean, we, we'd be okay. That's the only thing I can say. Uh, as far as Frank go, I don't, I, mean, I don't know what story you with Frank. I'm, you, you know, I don't read the, 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 the hoopla, so I don't, I don't know what's going on with that, so it'd be hard for me to, to speak on, on that. But... Uh, I mean, it's, we, we got to do it. It's, it's, it's up to us. It ain't up to Frank not out there. It's, it's up to us to go, go out there and execute and play basketball and win some games. When we're doing it in, in, in that fashion, it, it looks good. It feels good. Uh, everybody's happy. But when we don't, I mean, we, we lose games. It looks bad. Uh, guys are frustrated at, you know, at, 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 at whatever. Uh, so it's just a matter of, you know, st sticking through this and playing through it and winning some games. and getting on the road. This is a big road trip for us, I can tell you that. Mello, uh, that was a week ago or so. Uh, we talked to you and you said, of all people, I can relate to what Russ is going through because I've, I've been there. I'm just curious from your perspective, for him not to play the last four minutes of the game, that, that's a new thing um, for him with this, this season in particular. Uh, what, as a teammate, how did you see that, that moment for him? It's, 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 I mean, for me, I was in the game, so I don't know, you know, you get caught up in the, in the midst of the game. Uh, so it's kind of hard to kind of pay attention to what's going on on the, on the sideline. Um, I mean, again, it's, a, it's, it's an adjustment. I, you know, I, 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 I can only, I, I know, I think I know what he's, what he's dealing with, what, what he's going through. I've, I've been there before. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it was anything personal, you know, from, from coaching. Or you say you saw he subbed him out in four minutes. I think Malik came in or something like that. Uh, but I, I don't think it's, it's nothing personal. It's just something that, you know, he's, he's not used to. Uh, you, you, you would think somebody like that would be on the court. But, you know, with, with the floor of the game, there's been times where, you know, I haven't been in the game or, you know, other guys haven't been in the game. So I don't think it's anything personal. It's just something that, you know, where gotta, we, where we got to help him figure it out. You know, it's frustrating. I can tell you that. It, it, it's frustrating. Uh, as a player who's trying to do, trying to make it right, trying to do things right, uh, this is new for him. This this is a new situation. It's a new environment. Uh, so we we, we got to help him do it. I mean, that's the only thing we can do is, is is make sure his mental right. That's the only thing I care about. I don't I don't care about you know like any other any basketball stuff when it comes to to Russ. As long as his mental is right, then I'm, I'm good.